Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today we'll be taking a look at Wasted Locker, the ransomware that took down Garmin servers for a substantial amount of time. So if you've been having syncing issues with your Garmin smartwatch, well, now you know what's to blame. Some of you may have heard of the news already. It happened a couple of weeks ago. It actually took down their email and chat systems too. Ultimately, they were forced to pay the ransom and from a technical perspective, it was another one of those targeted attacks where the ransomware was specifically designed for this purpose. In fact, Wasted Locker even uses the victim name in the file extension. So in this case, you would see Garmin Wasted as the file extension once we execute the ransomware. First of all, it does bypass UAC. And secondly, unfortunately, in this case, the cryptographic methods used are quite secure and robust. It uses a combination of AS and RSA, so there's no hope of decrypting this whatsoever. If you're attacked and your files get encrypted, you're pretty much left with no choice but to pay the ransom. So now we're going to take a look at the file itself. We have it on the desktop. I'm going to quickly put it in before we actually execute it just to show you what it looks like to an analyst. Of course, it is detected by most engines at first total, but that is right now. It's very likely in cases like this that the attackers would have some kind of access to the systems that they wanted to attack before they actually launched the ransomware. Also, we are seeing a lot of specific signatures for this particular threat, so I think it may not have been picked up by generic ransomware signatures in most cases. There's still a few engines that uh, think it's clean. Komodo is a weird one. Not sure why. No idea why this is not blacklisted yet. Same with ClamAV. If we take a look at the uh, libraries and imports, you will see that there are a few ones that are a little bit suspicious. Not something that you'd be able to use by itself. If we take a look at the strings, again, you'll notice that we can read some of the functions. It is obfuscated to a certain extent. It's not like, you know, it's easy to get a lot of metadata out of this, but I think the patterns can be used for detection if you're interested. Mostly the strings we're getting are either function names, library calls, things like that. There's no indicative string, so it is pretty good at hiding that. It's not like you're getting the email address or anything like that from static analysis here. So now we'll get to the fun part. Without further delay, we're going to go ahead and execute this file on this test system and we'll see what happens. We've got Process Explorer running in the background, so we'll be able to monitor it. Let's get wasted. So as you can see, it does launch quite a few things immediately. So it's got this extension.bin, opens up command prompt, deletes itself. I'm guessing these are the processes that are going to do most of the heavy lifting when it comes to the encryption. At the moment, our files look completely unaffected, so you wouldn't be able to note that anything has gone wrong. As you noticed, it deletes itself, but I'm pretty sure within a few minutes, we will start noticing modifications to our files right on time. Happened just as I was saying it. And as you can see, the extension here is Garmin Wasted. So they're very clear that this is a targeted attack. Actually, I feel bad for other people who might end up getting exposed to this ransomware if it's shared around, picked up by malicious actors, mischief makers, because as a user, you can really do nothing to get your data back. The cyber criminals behind this are likely not even interested in negotiating with everyday users. They have very high ransom payment demands. Well, it's pretty much like having your files deleted. If we take a look at documents, Again, everything has been encrypted. In case you're curious, the ransom demand for this would go up from something like $500,000 to several millions. If we open the info file using Notepad, this is actually where the ransom message is located. So it says, Garmin, your network is encrypted now. Use this email address or this email address to get the price for your data. Do not give this email to third parties. Do not rename or move the file. The file is encrypted with the following key. Keep it. So this ransomware doesn't bother to go into detailed explanations. They probably know that there will be a forensic team who will be actually going through this. They're not even trying to communicate to the average person who might open this. They don't even show you like a proper ransom message. Like there's no file on the desktop, no changing desktop background, no HTML page that opens. In fact, even these files could not be directly opened. 
they had the info extension and I had to choose Notepad to open it before I could get the data. Now it also creates the same kind of info file for every single file that it encrypts anywhere. So you're filled with ransom messages all over, but there's no change on the desktop or anything else to indicate that your files have been encrypted. So unless you actually go in and check, you wouldn't know. So there you have it. That's what the infamous wasted locker looks like. From a technical perspective, it is quite clever. The way it manages to bypass user account control it does its job very quickly. As you noticed, it's gone through our files. And if we go back into Process Explorer, the processes have terminated too. So it doesn't leave anything running for forensic analysts to look at in memory in case you do a memory dump. Basically, it goes in, encrypts the files, adds the info files, goes out, doesn't try to leave any traces. So it's actually very different from some ransomware in a way. It doesn't try to restrict the use of your computer in any sense, doesn't come up with annoying messages or try to grab the screen. And this is, I think, the difference between a lot of amateur ransomware and some of the hard hitting financial attacks. It's very clear what the purpose is here. They are not messing around. They're not here to play games. They knew the company they were attacking. It was a very well thought out financial operation. And I think that's kind of the future of ransomware attacks at this stage. I think a lot of hacker groups are noticing that uh, this is a very fruitful venture in many cases. In case you're wondering, what can I do to protect my system so I don't end up with my data encrypted like this? Don't underestimate the value of proactive protection. Make sure you keep backups of all your important data. In most attacks resembling Wasted Locker, there's not going to be much that you will be able to do after the fact. Unfortunately, that is how it is with most ransomware. So once again, even if you think that you're fine, you're safe, pay attention to the cybersecurity of your systems. Everybody's gangsta until I always see comments from people saying, hey, you know, I've never been infected or I've never got ransomware, so I don't need to do this or that. But here's the thing. It only has to happen once. And when it does, you will wish that you took this more seriously. So don't get wasted. Don't get your files wasted. Subscribe to the PC Security channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and share if you did. If you'd like to get tested to see what would happen if you were attacked by ransomware, if your business is protected or secure enough, if your endpoints are able to deal with ransomware attacks, we can simulate that kind of testing. Feel free to get in touch via our website, thepcsecuritychannel.com. And if you're just a home user watching this, hey, just a reminder, back up your data. This is Leo from the PC Security Channel. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay informed. Stay secure.